As part of our submission for the Green Software Foundation's Carbon Hack 24, my teammate Alex Zerbotson made this plugin that allows you to use the impact framework to measure a website's operational carbon. The plugin is here, and I just wanted to show you how to use it in your own project. So I'll copy this URL, and then on my local computer, I'll make a directory. I'll just open that up in my code editor. I'll say git clone. Now I'll change into that folder. So now that I'm in the project root here, should be able to see all of these files, which I do. I'm going to install their dependencies with npmi. And now I'll see those dependencies listed here in my node modules folder. I'm going to build the plugin. Once that's done, I'll say npm link. I'll provide it the path to the GitHub repo by the GitHub organization that created it. That links the package to where I've installed it locally. So now if I have my own project where I'm running the impact framework, I'll go ahead and open that. I've got this one here and I've already got some other manifest files that I've created. So I'll create one called measure web page. You could call it whatever you want. And in this repo is a sample manifest file. So I'll just copy that, paste it in. And I'm just going to change the URL that I want to measure. There's a site I've been wanting to look at, mozilla.ai, because this animation really slows down my computer. So I want to figure out if that's just something on my computer, or if this is a really heavy website. So we'll, we'll use that URL. We'll do an npm install in, in this repo just to make sure I've got all my plugins. And if I want to make sure that the measure web page plugin is available, I'll say npm list dash g. That'll give me all my global plugins. And you can see I've got this one listed here. And it's providing a path to my local hard drive where that plugin was just installed. So we know it's there. Now that I've got this pipeline, I can run this manifest input file with the impact engine. And the way to do that is IE for impact engine, dash dash manifest will specify the manifest input file and directory and dash dash output will specify the output file and directory. So let's run that. And this is going to take some time. So now it's actually using Puppeteer to access that website to measure the bytes transferred. And it's done. And you'll see we've got a few things. One, we have this output file. And two, we have a Lighthouse report. If I open that Lighthouse report in my browser, I see the score that this web page got. It's a 78, not great, not terrible. Uh, and it gives us a bunch of things that we can improve. It's pretty good on accessibility. It's pretty good on best practices and SEO, et cetera. The next thing I want to do is actually just look at the operational carbon in that manifest output file. So if we take a look at what we got, here's our outputs. We have the time in which this ran, how long it took. There's their URL again. These are how many bytes were transferred. And there's a breakdown of those bytes. Scripts or JavaScript probably was the largest component, I believe followed by images, fonts were fairly large, and it even attempts to assess the data reload ratio. This is the percentage of bytes that are loaded on a subsequent reload to analyze whether you have an effective caching solution in place. It is not listed as a green web hosted site, and the operational carbon in grams of CO2 equivalent per kilowatt hour is 0.31. So that's the plugin. Good job to Alex and his collaborators for this contribution to our hackathon project. Give it a shot and let us know if it works for you and what you think of it. Thanks.